Under microscopic conditions requiring tiny tools and lots of patience, Laura Patmore is working to strengthen the genetic makeup of her hives against Varroa, one queen bee at a time. So that they can help themselves because the alternative to using those, um, those genetics is we have to use chemicals. It's similar to how livestock and pets are selectively bred. So in there she's developing. By choosing each parent, Laura is creating new generations that are increasingly tolerant of Varroa mite, a small pest responsible for the collapse of bee colonies worldwide. It arrived on Australian shores more than 18 months ago and as of last week, is now just down the road from Laura's own apiary in Kiama on the New South Wales south coast. The silver lining of that though is we have Varroa, which means I can now find the colonies that are handling it and breed from them. It's a huge task for the local mum, believed to be one of around 50 people in Australia actively practicing instrumental insemination. We can have huge impacts in a very short period, something that would normally take decades. The work going on here is hoping to emulate the successful efforts of countries like New Zealand and the United States who have already bred varroa resistant colonies. They're able to keep the varroa mite numbers down in the apiaries, not eliminate it, but certainly help in reducing the amount of treatments that need to be uh, implemented and, and reducing the impacts the mites have on those bees. So it's a, it's a great tool. The challenge now is cracking the genetic code as fast as possible. Ultimately, we need these programs to be commercially viable enterprises. It's the only way we'll get the sustainability that we need in the long term. And it's hoped the knowledge gained here will end up being shared around the country. Brooke Chandler, ABC News, Kayama.